and welcome back. Thanks for coming back. Where are we? Aphrodite's Hills Resort. That's where we are. It's where all the posh people live. And it's where people come to have a great, great holiday. Perhaps they rent a villa, an apartment, or perhaps they even stay in the luxury five-star hotel known as the Aphrodite's Hotel and Resort. And more often than not, they might go knock a little white ball around and play a round of golf. It's a EPA fully pledged 18 hole golf course. They even have competitions here now and again. And if we look carefully now to the left, there's a man all dressed in blue and he's knocking around the little white ball, especially for you. His mate couldn't quite stretch to all blue. He had a slightly faded top half and uh, some rather creamish slacks on, shall we say. Anyway, on this side of Aphrodite's Hill Resort is the very, very posh people indeed. If you want to buy a villa on this side, it's 1.5 million euros. Yes, you heard me correctly, upwards. And to be honest, at 1.5 million, they would see you as a bit of a plebeian. You really need to spend a little bit more, maybe four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or even 10. And I think the most expensive house on here is 25 million euros. Yes, you heard me correctly. Mm. I wonder where they got their money from. You never know, they could be lottery winners, couldn't they? Could be. Anyway, we're heading back up to the more normal side and we're going to see some townhouses, some villas, of course, with smaller ones, and some nice greens where people knock those little white balls around. And on top of that, the sky is looking blue. The sea, I promise you, when we start our ascent from Aphrodite's Hills down to the old coast road is going to be very, very blue indeed. Mr. Paul, yep, you guessed it. He's dressed head to toe in blue. So that must mean one thing. All that is missing is you. So come on, get yourself on a big bird or a canoe. Start paddling like crazy because Paphos, Cyprus, Marika and me, we are waiting especially for you. A big shout out to some of the stars that like to come back and watch the show now and again. Perhaps if you're in downtown Essex and your name is Oh Mandy and there's a Sir Steve in your life. Hopefully last night you had a night off from making the sandwiches or perhaps you got his whip out and made sure that you made him some spectacularities of sandwiches indeed. Anyway, he'll be head down in the body shop working like crazy because he understands that in a few weeks time you're going to get back on a big bird or you're going to paddle like crazy. Who knows? But you're coming back to Cyprus and guess what? Marika and me will be waiting especially for you. Don't forget to WhatsApp us and let us know what's going on. And a big shout out to some guys who are in town at the moment. If your name is Sir Daniel Mahoney and there's a bit of sweetness in your life and she's always, always right. Big, big Ali Mera to our Lady Sherry Wright. Looking forward to seeing you again very, very soon. And we understand you're having a great, great time in Paphos. Of course, Daniel has been coming here for most of his life. But of course, Sherry, that's her first, first visit to Paphos. And she says she's loving the place to bits. And we're loving you from the bottom of our two hearts. This is the Aphrodite's roundabout in front of us. Right over it is the Aphrodite's Hotel and Resort. If you go to the right, you'd go to the shopping area, shall we say. There's restaurants, there's a kiosk, there's a little supermarket, the golf shop is there, and the clubhouse is there as well. And there's also a sports center where you can play tennis, you can play football, and all those kind of things. But we're gonna drop down to the old coast road between Paphos and Pissouri. And you're gonna get a great, great view of the blue, 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 Mediterranean Sea. Now, if you like what you see, don't forget to hit that like. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Of course, it doesn't cost you a single penny. It just tells YouTube that you like what you've seen and perhaps they should recommend the little channel known as Marika and me to more like-minded people like yourselves. But if you'd like to gift us a couple of bob, if you'd like to keep the channel afloat and perhaps motivate us to keep on making videos, especially for you, if you want a special one, well, go and hunt us down on the Buy Me Coffee platform and that's where you could gift us that virtual coffee or two as a thank you, as a gesture of goodwill. You can also join us as a superstar member on the Buy Me Coffee platform starting off at only 10 euros a month. That's all it costs to get yourself a special title, birthday shout-outs, anniversary shout-outs, and that little bit closer to Marika and me. 
Today I'd like to say a big, big shout out to some of our superstars who we've met on our travels. They've been to Paphos and they're coming to Paphos again. And they're living in downtown South Wales. If your name is Lord Lee, there's a honeymoon girl in your life. That's Lady Vicky. And of course there's two superstars, Princess Layla and Princess Kaylee. A very, very big shout out to you. Now talking to downtown South Wales, there are some other superstars living down there. And there's a Princess Kaylee again, yes. And her mum is Lady Anne-Marie. And her dad, the apple of her eye, that is Sir Michael. A very, very big shout out to you. And of course the summer is coming and very, very soon indeed, you'll be getting on a big bird for a canoe. Be coming out to see us. And we'll be dancing the Chichuchka up and down the downtown Caleb Pathos Promenade and Harbour area. This is the Old Coast Road from Aphrodite's Hill. If you keep going the other way, you're going to go to Basuri, by the way. A great, great place to go. If you want to know a bit about Basuri, go and drop it into the YouTube search bar, Basuri, Marikurami, or Marikurami, Basuri, and you'll find some driving videos. And I think we're walking on a beach once or twice as well. But I tell you what, what a spectacularity of a day indeed it is. Yes, Sir Jim, you heard me correctly. Cuddle yourself up to Lady Amanda and enjoy the drive. Now, a big shout out to some more superstars who are members on the Buy Me Coffee platform. If your name is Lady Rachel in downtown York, and you've got a Cheshire cat grinning man. Yep, that's our Jace, Sir Jace. We're looking forward to seeing you when you get on that big bird and jet into Paphos. And of course, there are many, many people coming on top of all that. We've got Lord Andy from downtown in Shropshire. He'll be bringing his girl, and that's Lady Ness. And of course, if they're coming to town, the odds are very, very high that the girl in charge of our little show, that's our day man, she must be coming as well. The hotel known as Alexander the Great is now open. It's had a great refurb, and it really, really is waiting, especially for you. And on top of that, it's waiting for our Sir Chrissy, because this gentleman has been staying in the Alexander the Great Hotel from when he was only 12 years of age. He's a young man still, but he's been coming there for years and years. I think last time we spoke, it was 32 visits to that hotel. Wow, the man deserves a medal. Not that there's anything wrong with the hotel, but he should be given an award his loyalty to that hotel. So we are going to go storm the reception of that hotel over the next couple of days and have a mosey around and see what's been going on. Wish us luck because of course if the curly boy catches us he's going to chuck us out or perhaps chuck us into the blue 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 Mediterranean Sea. But that's not a problem because the weather is quite nice. So the temperature today, if you're curious to know, is 22 degrees. Yes, you heard me correctly. If you're watching from downtown, the crack off. Perhaps if your name is Lady Anna, our superstar, hang on to Dr. Tomas and grab that friend of ours, your son, of course, Sir Bart. Come on, start paddling like crazy into downtown Paphos. We're looking forward to seeing you guys in the summer. Keep your heads down, keep working hard, keep driving the Lexuses, yes, Lexuses, and then come over to Paphos for a week, 10 days, and let's have a great, great holiday indeed. Quite a quiet road, this, by the way. We wonder, you know, I think people who live in Secret Valley and Aphrodite Hills, I think they just stay there, cocooned in their luxury, and only venture out now and again, perhaps to go to the supermarket. Or perhaps they're even cleverer than that, perhaps they just get home delivery. And why not? If you've got enough money to live in Secret Valley, or of course Aphrodite Hills, well, you are living in downtown paradise. Well, uptown paradise, because you're on top of the hill, actually, looking down on the rest of us us mere mortals that have to ferry your cars around for service, like that Mini in front. That's the car we picked up from a gentleman in Aphrodite's Hills. He's got three cars, he's had that car from new, he uses it as a runaround and I think he chucks his golf clubs in the back, so that's like his golf buggy. He's got a nice BMW and he's got a nice Porsche as well, and he is an absolute super, superstar. He loves service and he doesn't mind paying. That's what we like to hear, wasn't it? Anyway, Timmy, six kilometers, Paphos, 16 kilometers. 16 kilometers in English money is 10 miles. So, Aphrodite's Hills, 
to Athos is around about 15 miles, I think it's about 24 kilometers. So it's not far, is it? No, not too bad at all. This is the entrance to Cochlear here, by the way, if you take a right. And we were accosted off camera the other day by a family who live in Cochlear, and they had a dog. His name was Chester. And I'll always remember him. One, he was a fantastic dog, but of course his name is Chester. And I'm from just down the road from Chester. So a big, big shout out to those guys. They saw us last year. This year they stopped us and said, what the hell are you doing? And then the penny dropped. We're looking forward to seeing you again somewhere in the downtown Pied of Pampas Harbour. And don't forget to bring my mate Chester, because he is a fabulous, fabulous dog. And you never know, we might steal him, because we'll see with a booth, she fancies a dog or two. And as I keep saying, we'll get her a doggy that little bit later. Brand new bit of black stuff, look at that tarmac. And then no sooner they put it down, they've then gone and dug a trench down the side of it to put some cabling. So I think they're probably going to be putting some traffic cameras or something into place. This is what's going on in Papos at the moment, by the way. They're taking speeding very, very seriously and not stopping at red traffic lights. So if you borrowed a car, rented a car, or someone kindly loaned you a car when you were driving around in Patfos, please take extra care and stick to the speed limit, isn't it? That's all it's got to do. If you're not speeding, you haven't got to worry if you see one of the girls or one of the boys in blue. Again, if you see a camera van parked up, you haven't got to worry. And that's the way I drive, nice and sensibly, nice and slowly. Not that I'm very clever, I just don't want to get that infringement on my plastic frame. <coughs> and died live on camera the thought of having to go on the internet and actually pay the fine i mean how do you do it anyway it's all in greeklish so just don't do it drive carefully and drive sensibly what you should do is get yourself a nice hot latte get yourself a nice lardy dar that's a nice big cigar and do a big big shout out to our superstars who come into pathos very very soon indeed who are they lord martin and his smiling beauty lady victoria they're having a chat in the comments last night with another superstar. She's a blonde beauty. She's a princess. She's a lady. She's got an E in her name. And of course that is Princess Tracy. And she will be getting on a big bird or a canoe and jetting in from that little island just off the coast. And it's called Sheppy. Yep. Island of Sheppy. She'll be coming in a path boss very, very soon indeed. And I've no doubt causing a scene and dancing and prancing. Absolutely everywhere if you like what you see hit the like click that subscribe don't forget to keep coming back a little bit more of my complete and utter madness and of course don't forget to go and hunt us down on the buy me a coffee platform i'm going to say thanks for watching if you like what you see hit that like don't forget i'll be back on again very very soon missing you like crazy to the left hand side is mandrea village i know a man in there He's got an Audi, his name is Mr. Ball, and you never know, one of these days, we might be hunting him down in the downtown Kid of Promenade and Harbour area. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again very, very soon indeed.